everybody. For many of you moving to Windows 10 from Windows 7, you may notice some features are missing. Obviously, the biggest one that, you, that I know of is Windows Menu Center. But we're talking about something different today. In Windows 10, you can actually restore the two features I'm about to mention. The Import Photos and Videos Wizard, or in Windows 7 as it's called, Import Pictures and Videos, along with Windows Photo Viewer. By default, Windows 10, they want you to use the crappy photos app that's like half-baked and is it's not that great. I personally prefer the Import Photos and Videos Wizard and Windows Photo Viewer for basic, you know, the Import Photos and Videos Wizard for importing my pictures and videos and I personally prefer the Windows Photo Viewer or the Windows Live Photo Gallery for viewing and editing and that kind of stuff. So first we're going to start, going to start with the Import Photos and Videos Wizard. Now some of you guys may want to comment and say, oh you can just download and install Windows Photo Gallery or you know Windows Essentials Photo Gallery and get the same thing. It's not the same thing. The version of Import Photos and wiz um, Videos that's in the Photo Gallery application doesn't allow you to customize as far into detail as to where you want your pictures and videos to go. For example, the built-in Import Pictures and vi um, Videos wizard allows you to specify certain folders for photos and certain folders for videos. Also, when it imports the uh, pictures and videos, it renames them in, in numerical order with, as 001, 002, and you can tag and that, that kind of stuff. The Windows Live Photo Gallery import wizard, a lot of times it would just import your photos into one folder, your p photos and videos into one folder, and it just does, it doesn't rename them, it just makes a big freaking mess. So, we're going to start with um, the import photos and videos wizard. As a matter of fact, these files are already built into Windows 10. They're just not enabled by default. Usually when you pop in a SD card, you know, if you pop in your camera, you'll see that the feature is there. You can right click on the device and computer, or this PC rather, and choose import photos and videos, but it doesn't seem to, the option doesn't seem to be there for removable drives such as SD cards and things like that. I always use my SD card. So a workaround for this um, is you can actually create a shortcut on your desktop or wherever and this is actually the result that you'll get. So what I'll do is I'll copy, you know, I'll, I'll copy and paste the um, string into the description of this video. If I don't remind me to do so, and I will, just go and copy and paste this um, shortcut here. So here's our import photos and videos. Double click it and. Of course, I don't have any devices plugged in right now, but you would select your device and then you can import photos and videos as usual. To do this, all you have to do is um, select, you know, right click and select new and shortcut, and you would um, copy and paste, whoops, you would copy and paste the following information into the field right there it'll be this information here which I'll have in the description as I mentioned you just copy and paste it in choose next and create your shortcut and you'll simply have a shortcut and also what I did is I um, my default it doesn't have this photos and videos wizard um, icon so let's show you how to apply the icon you choose change icon in the shortcut properties So basically, you would just go into, um, oops, you'll go into this phone area. It'd be local disk C, program files, Windows Photo Viewer, and you would just choose imaging devices.exe, and it will allow you to use the icon associated with that little application. So that way you can have the icon on a shortcut and so forth. So, you know, so it's pretty simple and also for Windows 7 users and Windows 8 users if you would like to have a shortcut um, to, do similar, to do similar functionality in Windows 7 or you know, Windows 8 this shortcut also works in Windows 7 and Windows 8. You can just paste it on your desktop and you can use it. This is just the same as in Windows 10 to access 
this feature. So that being said, it's pretty simple to do that. Now I'm still going to go ahead and talk about how to get Windows Photo Viewer working. Now if you go to, let's say, your pictures, and apparently Windows 10 does not have sample pictures. Okay, I have found an image. It's actually a bitmap image, but it'll do. Just place it here directly on the C drive and make matters easier for what we're about to do. So anyways, here's the logo, or the image. And you can see how when you try to open it, it wants to recommend you use Photos, the Crappy Photos app. And it gives you these other options, which uh, we do have Photo Gallery. Let's show you what the image looks like. Because I have actually installed Photo Gallery on this machine. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Just open up. That's all I had to ask. Yep, simple Cube Career Company logo. That's the older one. Now let's talk about how to get the Windows Photo Viewer program back up and running. I've went ahead and downloaded a, um, a, registry, um, it's a registry entry from a site called askvg.com. I'll post the link in the description. If I don't do it, remind me to do so and I'll be more than happy to do so. So let's go ahead and navigate to where I saved it. Here it is. Sorry about the screen flicker. Double click and run. Now let's attempt to open an image, which I actually have a um, an image saved directly on the C drive. And you can see now, instead of using photos, we now have one as photo viewer available and we have one as photo viewer so now you can import your photos and videos like you did in Windows 7 and you can view those photos and videos like you did in Windows 7 with the import photos and videos wizard which is actually improved um, and the same old Windows photo viewer application that was in Windows 7 so anyways Hopefully this is some helpful information for you. In the question or comments. Feel free to ask and thanks for watching.